Hi everyone, it's me, Jonathan, and I'm back again to give you the full rundown on the latest update to Task in Evernote. With this latest version of Evernote, you can keep all your projects running even more smoothly with assignable tasks. This latest feature is available for our professional and team plans. Whether you're assigning a task to someone else or have a task you need to manage on your own, you can manage all of this easily from the task view in Evernote. In this video, I'm going to go into detail on three things. One, assigning a task to other people. Two, managing tasks that have been assigned to you. And three, sharing notes with assigned tasks. I'm also going to go over some common questions at the end, so be sure to stick around. Okay, let's jump right in. Whether you are creating a new task or updating existing task, you will see the option to assign in the task details window. Clicking Assign prompts you to enter the email address of the person you want the task to go to. You can also set a due date for the task you are assigning to ensure everything you need gets done on time. If you want to assign the task to yourself, simply enter your email address. Once you have assigned the task, the assignee will receive a notification via email that a task was assigned to them. As the assigner, you will get an email notification once the task is marked complete. Assigned tasks are grouped by who they are assigned to in your task view under Assigned, so you can keep track of tasks that have been assigned to others in one convenient place. If you have tasks that have been assigned to you, they will all be conveniently located in the Assigned section of the task view under Assigned to Me. Once a task is assigned to you, you can adjust it to fit your organizational plan in Evernote. For example, you can add a flag to denote anything extra important. You can also add a reminder to the task and add a due date if there was not one when it was assigned. And since due dates are known to change from time to time, you can even adjust the due date to keep track of changing timelines. And lastly, of course you can and should mark your assigned task complete once they are done. Now this is where assignable tasks can go even further to help create seamless collaboration with others, sharing notes. Tasks are amazing because they live inside a note with the capability to be full of important context. Sharing the note is a separate optional action, which can be done by clicking on the share button in the top right corner of the note. Once you share the note, the assignee can find it from the shared with me section of their app. To sum it up, Assigning a task to someone doesn't automatically share the note that that task is in. You don't have to share the note if you don't want to, and the person you assign a task to will just see the task assigned to them and not the rest of the note. You can share the note before or after the task is assigned as well, since it is a separate process at this time. I wanted to quickly go over a few popular questions we received when testing assignable tasks to make sure you have all the information you need to jump right in. Okay, first question I have, can I assign a task to someone who doesn't have an Evernote account? The answer is yes. They will receive the email notification that a task was assigned to them, and when they click the option to view the task, they will be prompted to create an Evernote account. Next question I have here is, can you assign a task to more than one person? Currently, each task can only be assigned to one person at a time. All right, last question for you. Which Evernote subscription plans include assignable tasks? Okay, so assigning task is a feature available to anyone on the Evernote professional and team plans. But anyone on any subscription level can have task assigned to them. So there you have it. Assignable task and sharing notes are an excellent way to streamline working with others to get your to-dos done. Click the link in the description box below for more details on other new features in the newest Evernote plans. There's also details on how to get the newest update and how-to articles for all the features we went over today and so much more. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on how to use Evernote. There's also workflow integrations and all the tips, tricks, and hacks for how to make the most out of Evernote.